Hello everyone, welcome to another card tutorial. Today I will show you how to add, edit and customize buttons on card. So basically what you will need to do is you will need to go on a button right here. And uh, okay, let's just first go and let's just create another button. So we can go here and cl click on buttons. Now we have a button right here, as you can see. Uh, okay, let's make this button, uh, if we can do it somehow uh, right here, uh, you know, layout, okay margins alignment we can do it center just so you can see it while i'm editing it so as you can see this button is on center right now what we can do is we can first go here and we can change the button uh, label so let's say this is click here right now this is click here right we can change the icon of the button for example uh, we can make it a uh, download for example right um, we can choose the URL of the button, so where the button will lead once we once someone clicks on it, right? Uh, we can change the color of the button, right? Or this is actually a hover, right? So for example, uh, let's say a hover going to be this one, right? As you can see, we can obviously change uh, the, the background and the hover. So let's say the hover is, is yellow. As you can see, it's going to be yellow, right? So let's make this black and let's make this a little bit grayish, right? As you can see, this is basically the hover, right? Um, then what we can do is we can go to the appearance. Here you can also change the color in the hover. Since we change it here, uh, we don't want to change it here, right? Uh, here we can make it a uh, style, solid or outline. Solid is usually the best for me. Icon and label or, uh, you know, label plus icon, right? However you want to make it. You can also span multiple lines, which allow longer tables to span multiple lines. Um, then you have label, uh, you know, what is the labels uh, color, for example, right here, as you can see, white is always the best for here. Uh, icon, we can also add, a, a, you know, an icon uh, color as well, if you want. Uh, and then drop shadow, we can make a drop shadow like this or like this, right, or whatever we want, right. Uh, and then distance, obviously the distance of the drop shadow, blur of the drop shadow, right? Um, angle of the drop shadow, uh, size of the drop shadow, as you can see. And then we can also add the width, height, indent, icon size. So for example, the width, the height, right? The indent, right? Basically the spacing between, between uh, a text and icon. Icon size, right? Uh, corner rounding, if we want or not font as well for example we can ch change it to this one right weight of the of the basically uh, font right letter spacing we can change it here appearance as well lowercase uppercase even small caps row spacing of the rows right spacing of the margins stuff like that i wouldn't really uh, mess around with that but th yeah that's pretty much it so that's pretty much how to add add edit and customize buttons on card it's very easy very simple uh, if you have any questions or comments, comment down below and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.